Hi, I'm Dee and I have multiple sclerosis. I'm following the Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis Diet to reduce the progression of the disease. And I've decided to make some videos of the recipes I've developed over the last couple of years that fit the diet, just in case it's useful to anybody. Today, we're cooking lentil and chickpea curry. I'm going to start by showing you the list of ingredients. I'm making enough here for three meals for four people each meal. So I've got two onions. I would normally have two white onions, but I don't have two white today, so I'm using a red one as well. I have ginger, garlic, cumin seeds, coriander seeds, turmeric, chili powder, garam masala, two tins of green lentils, two tins of chickpeas, uh, I've got two tins of chopped tomatoes here, but I think I'm probably going to have to add a third. There are two things I need to do before I can start cooking. And that's the first thing is to grind up these spices, the coriander seeds and the cumin seeds. So I'm going to need about a teaspoon and a half of each. and grind them up as much as you can for about a minute, that's all. And the next thing I have to do is grate the onions, garlic and ginger. I've got a cousin-in-law called Amita, who's a wonderful cook, and her parents actually owned the famous Moonlight Tandoori restaurant in Oxford. Um, the grating is the tip that she gave me. Let's get your eyes though. We're going to add a few tablespoons of water into the bottom of our pan. Then we're going to add our ground coriander and cumin seeds just for about a minute until we can smell them. The beauty of using water instead of oil, um, not only does it work for our OMS diet, but also it means they won't burn. They're starting to smell really good now, so I'm going to add the onion, garlic and ginger. They've been grated just, I guess, to increase the surface area, to give us extra flavour, but also it's released loads of the juices and that will really help with the flavour. So we'll cook that until the onion is soft and if we need to add water at any time, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so that onion is looking really soft now. We're going to add the chopped tomatoes I am prepared to maybe add a third tin later on as well though, we'll see how that goes. So let's put two tins in for now. And let that simmer for a couple of minutes before we add our spices. Okay, so now the tomatoes have started to separate and you can just see the juices here. That's a good time to add the spices. I'm first going to add turmeric, a really good heap dessert spoonful, in fact a bit more. Turmeric is such a healthy spice. It's good for the circulation, the digestion. I've, I've also read it's good for inflammation, which is particularly beneficial for us people with MS. So that was about a dessert spoonful and a half of turmeric. Remember, this is um, going to make me a few, a few different meals worth of um, curry. And the same of garam masala. Give it a good stir.
And now I'm going to add the chickpeas and the lentils. There, so I've just put them in, I'm going to give them a stir. I did drain them first. Looking at that, I don't think the ratio is right. So I am actually going to add a third can of tomatoes. Now, you might like the taste of this as it is actually, so have a taste now. You might like to add some chilli powder, that's what I used to do, but now I give this to my children. I actually don't add the chilli powder, it puts them off a bit. And this is the kind of consistency you're aiming for, so if at any point you need to add some more water, just go for it. And leave that as long as you possibly can. Amita cooks her curries for hours and they taste amazing. Um, I've cooked this for 18 people before and I started it at breakfast time and then when I went out, I turned it off. Then I came back and simmered it for another hour, then turned it off when I went out and so on. Just simmer it for as, as long as you can and it doesn't have to be in one big go. Chickpea and lentil curry. Thank you very much for watching.